useful things to know in Singapore Changi Terminal 3. You never know when you need a certain thing until you really need it and it will be quite troublesome when that's the time that you are eagerly finding those stuff. So in this video, I'm going to um, show you where are those things like so for example, the baby care, if you are bringing a baby along and if you are looking for the GST refund, where to find them or if you need your money exchange, where can you find it? At which gate, at which row? So those are the useful things that you might need or even hotel if you are staying for a long layover where can you stay if you do not have the uh, time to travel all the way to a city so without further ado i'm going to show you all those things that you need to know in Changi terminal 3 terminal 3 they are a total of three level above ground which the level one is the departure hall level two will be some of fmb and level three will be the viewing hall and two levels below ground not inclusive of the MRT station the B1 will be the arrival hall and the B2 will be a special dedicated level just for all the F&B where you can find a lot of variety of foods right over there so I'm going to bring you in and we'll start from the level 1 the departure hall and I'm going to show you the things that you might need over here let's go so it's actually quite troublesome for you to go and find your airline individually from the row when you enter the terminal there's a like much easier way for you to find your airline way before you enter the terminal so before you enter on the gate where you can see right behind me over here so you all can see there there's the first class airlines from SIA and also the business class that are airlines from SIA and is at the gate 5 so if you enter from gate 5 in and you should be able to see the air asia of all those listed here so there's even more different airlines over there like the eva air and t-way on the gate 6 if you go further down here and there's one thing that you all can find it quite useful is the wheelchair so if you all bring along uh, anyone who have like a uh, walking issue then you all can ask the taxi or your private hire to alight you all at the gate 5 so this is the gate 5 and on the side here is all the wheelchair now along all the gates you are able to find the trolley which you can use to push your luggage when you're check in there are items that you can bring and items you can't bring like for example the perfume the toothpaste and the hair moser shampoo everything contact lens the water you are able to check in but you do not check in the spare lithium battery right here and those ninja star handcuff lighter liquid poison spray can and radioactive stuff oh this should be how it looks Good. when you put it in your luggage and the container can only be less than 100 ml for the hand carry all items must be fit into one liter receivable plastic bag yes you cannot like those are um, like unable to pack in huh? the good thing of it when you're going to check in any liquid or aerosol gel so let's say that your handphone or maybe your electronics is low in battery or low in power what you can do over here in terminal 3 is that there's a charging station which is right here where is it? Yeah, the charging station so there's a total of two of them they are all in between the gate 5 and also the gate 4 right over here and they support the 2.1A for the USB and 16A 250V for the 3 pin plug right over here so this is all for the mobile charging only 230V supply and if there's any issue you can call here 
and you are also able to use the Wi-Fi right here you all can go and check out you can select the Wi-Fi at Changi and wait for the login and there will be a pop-up and press on the Wi-Fi logo to enjoy the 3 hour free oh, I personally actually um, tried the internet and I'm going to show you the internet speed over here I already connected to the internet so let's run the speed test so the download speed is 7.98 megabytes and the upload speed is 4.71 megabytes and the latency is 81 ms and the server is Manila and your internet speed is fine so if you are going to use the internet this will be the upload and download speed which you can use for 3 hours in the Wi-Fi i Changi so there's a free weighing machine right over here which you can find it in front of gate 5 and this is where it's located at you can weigh your luggage over here and know roughly um, your weight of your luggage before you check in so when you enter from gate 7 right over here and here row 9 is right over here you'll find the I Changi recommendation over here and you can uh, able to wrap your luggage here you also um, enter the Wi-Fi and also the book your flight last minute and get your visa you are able to get some Japan real pass and you can get some travel insurance and also overseas SIM card a GST refund which is right in the middle of the departure hall right here and here is the gate 5 and also is opposite the row 6 is where the GST refund is located at right over here you will need your passport and confirm air ticket and invoice purchase receipt and items to be checked in over here so you can use the ETRS kiosk and also check in a booth and you can get the refund in three forms which is the credit card it will take roughly 10 days or the early pay and also the cash refund which you will collect or refund at the GST cash refund counter in departure transit area after clearing immigration so I personally have fidget with the kiosk before I'm not allowed to firm the kiosk I'm not sure why but I'm going to roughly tell you all um, verbally so um, before I start, they will ask you for the language you can choose the language that you are comfortable with and also you are fluent with so that you are able to do the process very smoothly and after that, they will ask you to scan your passport and or scan your receipt or stuff like that which you purchase that you want your GST refund from and they will uh, proceed with asking you the payment like the Alipay, the cash card and also the um, cash credit card is the one for the longest so there's a slot for you to put uh, in a kiosk like, I can't really show you over here like. it's very small but I see if I can zoom in but anyway it's somewhere around this area in the middle yeah that's where you slot in your credit card and after that you can wait for like roughly 10 business day for it that's the duration while the Alipay is very fast and also the cash is very fast but one thing they do really need to think about is of what do you check in for your luggage like the things that you are going to get the Jesse refund from uh, which one do you put inside your luggage and which one you are going to hand carry so make sure to indicate it properly before you proceed with anything and also let the help um, those people over there there's someone in there that can help you out so if you have any inquiries you all can go in and ask them and there's no 
platform needed to fill for your GST refund. So this is the GST refund in the terminal tree. Beside the GST refund is your money exchange is in between the row 5 and row 6. Personally, I wouldn't recommend exchanging your money in the Changi Airport. The rate is not that good, I personally think, and it's also a bit expensive to exchange in here. Uh, I would recommend that you all go to the arcade at Raffles Place. It's also uh, inside the city. Uh, just take the uh, MRT, which is the green line, and good thing is that the reference place is also at the green line just head over to the reference place if you don't know where the arcade is you all can ask around it's uh, a lot of people uh, it's very near to the MRT station and it's quite easy to find um, sick points will be glad to help you out so go over there and get your money exchanged if you are looking for one with a better rate so right beside the GSC refund the middle that's the toilet and over here you are able to find the baby care before I enter you are able to find the water cooler you can get cold water over here and you are able to get the warm water hot water and cold water they are so free to drink and here is where the baby care room is so, let me see if I can go in and show over here this is the dryer, the tissue, toilet paper, the hot water for you to make your milk and washing area. And here is where I think it's the what is that? You can put your baby on and change the diaper over here. Right inside here. I think it's this room is for breastfeeding. And there's a shelf over here. And so there's a charge right here I'm not quite sure why there's so many functions here so you are able to lock it and here's the lock you can open push up to lock push down to open so if you ever need a ID photo taken which take around I think 18 seconds and the price is all listed over here this is the kind that you get for the passport photo and it's directly all the way straight from the gate 2 or opposite the row 2 this is where you can find this ID photo and right beside it is the Citibank ATM machine which they support the Visa, Mastercard, Mastro, Cerus Diner Club International Union Pay and Plus. Playing with the SIA, you will have this kind of self check in kiosk which you can scan your passport over here and you are able to get your uh, check in ticket and also your boarding ticket and all those things that you need for pasting on your luggage if you are going to check in your luggage. They are all able to be done in the kiosk. So you'll find a few of them Sorry. along the way in front of your airline. So let's say you have excess baggage, then you are on a penalty which you have to pay right over here. And you can find them in front of the row 4. To take your bus to T4. They come in this interval, 6 hour to 23, 5, 9 hour from T3 where you are and they will bring you to T4 and 0, 0, 0 hour to 0, 5, 5, 9 hour, you will rotate in a loop from T3 to T2 to T1 then to T4. So those low period is only a bus that will bring you a full cycle while on the um, normal hours, the operating hours is gonna bring you directly to T4 and back. So in front, which is here, the gate 8 is where you take your bus. You can see there's one purple bus right over here. This is the bus that bring you to the T4. 
and right beside is where you take your MRT station. This is where you take your MRT to the city. So I have a separate video about the um, transport mode or how to get to the city from the Changi Airport which I will put a link up above or I will pin it down below in the description box so if you ever need it, you can go and check it out from this video up here or down below in the description box because I'm going to not go too deep into it I have a separate video for that If you walk straight down here is where you will go be able to go to the jewel through a very long travelator and also the skytrain to T1 and T2 and here there's like Bakwa, the fragrance and also there's Nam Nam Starbucks over here and this is where you take your bus to T4 and to the side here is where you and go to the MRT station that brings you to the city so I'm gonna go down here Along the way there's like digital gadgets and also chairs that you can get drinks or food and also there's ATM just right beside the toilet Once you reach the end you will see this place right here There's a Crown Plaza Hotel It's one of the few hotels in the Changi Airport and also there's another one in the Jewel which is the Yotel it's kind of like a smaller version, the room is smaller Well, this one uh, is slightly larger like a normal hotel room And this is the very long travelator to Jewel Well, if you go further down This will be a place where you take your Skytrain So to the left is your T2 While to the right is to T1 And the operating hour is from 0430 to 0130 hour so you can wave at the on-call sensor beside the Skytrain door if it's not lighted Right now I'm at the level 2 and here is mostly where the restaurants are at Right behind me is the Paradise Dynasty uh, I think they are quite famous for the soup dumpling which there's a lot of different kind of flavour that they can provide and there's other more food here uh, this is called the Baba Nongya so I believe this is the Nongya food here and they are going to open up a crown prince right here Then you walk all the way from the back of the dynasty you are able to see the check-in or the transit area and over here it's quite memorizing I sometimes do sit here and chill and if you walk further down here you are able to find some western food like the Colin. The level 2 is basically all the restaurant area so I'm going to bring you to the level 3 which is the viewing hall Yes, the viewing hall and also there used to be a lot of restaurants over here I remember there's what is that? Uh, there's a Hong Kong style food right over here and there's even more right there so this is a great place for you to relax and enjoy the view over here um, you might notice here it's very quiet and this is a great place for you to work if you are a travel nomad or you are someone who can work from home or you can you are working online so you, all you need is just a computer right yeah it's a great place for you to sit here there's a lot of seats around here and it's quite cooling alternative way for you to get to a T2 from T1 also able to walk over there which you can take the uh, escalator down towards the MRT station and you can walk straight over there so walking straight towards here will bring you to the T2 which you all will see here the indicator that show you terminal 2 Right now I'm at the B1 which is also the arrival hall and there's quite a few activities that you can do like this slide right behind me where you can slide all the way down to B2 and so down there there's the what do you call the wall climbing and there are quite a few activities that you can do over here right the slide there's this meet and greet where you can get the tourists and prepaid sim which is sold here the M1 prepaid sim which there is like 
168 GB, 2 GB per day, and 500 minutes local outgoing call every 4 weeks, and 1000 local SMS every 4 weeks, and unlimited incoming call, which read it for 12 weeks. And you are able to get the uh, airport transfer, the Baji service, and also the prepaid SIM card. So you can come here and check out. Now there's an airport transfer. And if we go for now, there's another, which is the Saha. Where you can get the 4G prepaid SIM card, transport card. So this card is the easy card, which you take your topic bus and MRT. So if you need to draw uh, any money, there's three ATM over here, which is in front of the meat and green and also in front of the bell 45 to 48 which is the last in the most to the words the left if we are going to come out from the arrival hall and here you get the maybank the uov and also the ocbc atm machine let me see if i can show you what card do we support so they support all the OCBC thing and the apps and also UOB, Mastercard, Mastro, Visa, Plus, Cyrus, Cerus uh, and Union Pay. So if you need to draw money you can call over here. So there's two more Chinese agents, one here and another one over there, which is in front of the church. And beside that's happening Wang. It's on the belt 46 if you are gonna exit from the arrival hall. And so there's more money exchange which is right in front. There's a package storage outlet over here at the arrival hall, which is right there. And this is the slide. And over here you are able to store your baggage, your jet travel accessories, the overseas deliveries, laundry service, mobility rental and Back wrapping. And here are all the price. You can pause the video to take a look at all the prices. And you can scan the QR code. Also, the storage weight. The loose one is five dollars, which is for the hat, key, umbrella, item smaller than four. A4 size, while the small is below 10 kg, $10 cabin size bag, other side shopping bag. And the big slash odd is $15 for check in luggage, backpack, pram, trolley, wheelchair, car seat, boxes, and other items. And extra big, which is a bicycle, golf bag, surfboard, and any item bigger than 70 cm height and 90 cm large. Oh, for the back wrap, we there's a regular one. The size is cabin size 20 inch and max height for 24 inch. 24, yeah, and no boxes. And the big is 30, height 32. Check in luggage box up to 24. And odd is 40. Stroller, car seats, wheelchair box up to 36 inch. It will cost you $40 and extra big 50 surfboard and boxes that exceed 36. Rate are based on 24 hours, rate based on per item, and rate include taxes. So here is a dry cleaning and laundry service. You get 15% off if you are Apple star. So there is a conveniency at airport and also neighbor pricing and easy drop off and pick up at any time. Next day collection, no upfront payment, pay on collection. It's a 24 hour drop off and pick up anytime, clean garment for the next day and dry cleaning and load wash. On the B2, which is the food level, there's a lot of food for you to choose from. From dessert, there's also the congee and also curry time and finger food that you can get and eat along the way. A few clothing store like this one right over here and also this one over here. And there's also a body shop right here. There's quite a lot of coatings like obviously it's like mainly for female yeah 
these two, you know, like for female codings. Yeah, if you are ever need codings, you can get here, and there is also some kids coding over here. And there's even more food right here. There's a great place for you to watch movie and also chill over here, which is right here at the B2, where they will play movies and dramas over here. And mostly they are all English movie or drama or show. And some people will just like lay down here and rest or for people to work here or also do their homework. Bubble teas or drink stall, you can purchase them and sit here and enjoy your drinks with the show. Further down from the um, theatre spot right there and here you will find some um, massage chair from Jintel and also there's even more ATM machine right here like the DPS, the UOV, OCBC and AXS machine at the far end what if you are sick or you need to visit a doctor last minute in Singapore Changi Terminal 3? There's actually a clinic here which is inside the Unity. Some may call it the pharmacy or the drugstore. You can get a lot of um, medicine and also other things like the test kit or any other stuff that is related to um, medicine and illness stuff. It's all available here. So if you ever need to visit a clinic, I will know where to find them. So this should be roughly all the useful things that you might need to know when you are in Terminal 3. But you might think, hey Jin, where are all the transport related things that I need to know in Terminal 3? Actually, I have a separate video for it. So I will put the link down below, which is called the How to Get to the City from the Changi Airport. So just head out there, click onto the link below in the description box and I have a separate video dedicated for all the transport related that brings you from the Changi Airport to the city like for example the private hire like the Grab, the Gojet, the Red and also the Tada while there's also the MRT train and also the public bus and the private, not private, the airport transfer like the coach, the Lumi C, Lumi Lumi, Lumi Cis, I have no idea but it's a Mercedes car and also the taxi which is like the Comfort and the Transcap those are the two common ones, the blue and the red yeah so you all just head out there and you can find all the transport related there so I hope this video benefits you when you visit the Singapore and enjoy your stay over here alright, see you, bye bye